Look nice. at this, y'all. Whoa. This is a nice one right here. All right, y'all, welcome. Today we are here because we are going flathead fishing. And technically, I'm just gonna call this a night fishing event because we don't know yet. Are the flatheads biting? Yes, they are. We just have to get into them. But this is my first flathead trip of the year. And I'm hoping to make a good one. We just threw a cast net out and caught at least brown 30 12 inch shad all right y'all i want to talk about something very specific here right in front of me you can possibly see the river rider rod holders custom made these rods were custom made for me this is the first time that i used them very first time and i bought the 24 inch ones so i have mines going straight up and we're gonna see how these fish run now if i was fishing for carp maybe i'd probably have it straight out but since I'm dealing with a little bit more current, I'm just going to, you know, stick with um, them going straight up in the air. Give me a little bit more uh, tip action going on there. Let me understand what's, what's happening and whatnot. And plus, um, it is a little wind, but I don't think it's going to be too effective. Here you have, we have the 24 inch right here, adjustables at that. You have the reflector so that you can see the rod uh, holders at night when you got like a, a lamp on. And you won't be lost or confused or whatever the case is. Since we're talking about a bunch of gear, y'all already know what I'm about to pull out. And that is the whisker sticks. Yes, we have us some whisker sticks. LED lights. If you know Timothy Hardwick, and you know he's a good guy. But I have mines all in here. I have batteries ready. I have some decent colors. Today I'm going to use blue. And red. And. You hear me? Uh-huh. Blue and I'm gonna use blue and red, and obviously see right here these bad boys stay lit up all night, and that's lit up. I can tell that it got lit up, and here go the batteries that come with it. We're gonna pull out the shad. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut my shad up once we do everything. So pretty much this is everything as far as the setup. I promise you the blue is really bright. So stay tuned, guys and all right all right so i'm gonna show y'all exactly how i'm gonna set my rods in the rod holders and how i'm gonna put my whisker stick lights on before i do any of that though i will have to come in here and grab my bands this is the zip ties this is how you zip them around the rods so i got one medium heavy and then I have one medium. Oh man, I can't wait to use these. Look at that. So I uh, team catfish thundercat rod, and I have the team catfish go. Look at that gold rings to 400. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that gold ring 400 reel. Beautiful. And then I have me the brown and six rivers with the medium size. Team catfish thundercat rod, but I always like to fish with light and heavy for some odd reason. That's just I don't know some odd reason. I get a lot of luck doing it that way. But I'm gonna have them standing up exactly like this, and we're gonna do our thing. So y'all already know what this is. Stay tuned. Let's get these on here, and I'm gonna show y'all how I got these fit up. All right, so there's a little current, but I'm not trying to stick it at the bottom to the hardest degree. I'm trying to just cast it out there and let it stop on its own. So what I did was put two disc sinkers on there. Um, and then I have the same thing on both sides. Um, I have me, obviously you have sinker sliders, sinker sliders on both. But here, this is the main thing we was actually talking about, the whisker sticks. Just a simple tie up, you wrap it around a thing like that. Once you start casting the stuff, uh, it being in a way will no longer really exist. You just, you know, all this stuff will be out the way. Just pretty much set for the lights everything is standing up right and i'll have it in the rod holders just like this and just waiting for whatever to bite uh oh john also got the same reel all right y'all so now that i did all that the only thing next to do is find a seat yep because i left my chair and we are actually uh going to show y'all how we cut up this bait so 
that's next. So now we're ready. So that's a smaller one. I want to I want to just show you guys how I do bigger uh, shad, which is here's a perfect one. Yeah. Okay. So what I do is I come down right here at the bottom, very bottom, and I cut. Oh man, I can't even grip it. Okay. All right, here we go. So. What I do is I cut it down halfway, not not really halfway, but a little farther down. Then I I cut that gut pocket right out. You could just see me going right down the gut, just like that, and it's and it is sharp. So that that way ain't nothing else but just spine. So but I, that that gut pocket is still good too. Yeah, it is. It is. In the head. So we take the head and the gut pocket off, and then we just go straight down like this, and this is how we throw the chunks good bloody and good readiness look at that yep you know what that is yep that's catfish skin <laughs> oh yeah definitely it's definitely sharp see definitely sharp this knife is I'm not even, it's definitely sharp see and now we got these fabulous chunks right here and we'll do the same exact thing with the other ones we even throw this head out too, guys. Yeah, That's we definitely do. Yeah, we definitely throw heads out. We make sure we use everything. Yep. I've even thrown the tail out there. And we throw pretty much throw the very end of the tail in the water. Man, I can't. Just like that. And now we have us some good chunks. And now you just pretty much see my whole... Let's Preparation show of I'm gonna show flathead fishing. We about to get some pieces on, and we're gonna cast these bad boys out. So y'all stay tuned. All right, so here go two fresh baits that I just cut up, nice chunks. Now I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do this. We have an eight odd uh, mad catter hook right here. This be the first time I ever use these. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna come in this way. And bring it out at an angle and the reason for that being is that i won't have to too much worry about it doing too much what's the name twisting on me or what i can do is bring it through the what's the name right here right through the meat right here as you can see and i bring it right here at the top so i'm gonna throw one like that and then i'm gonna throw the other one exactly the other way that i was just explaining and this right here is a seven odd mad cat i mean uh reaper hook we're going to go in the meat and we're going to come out the skin we're going to take this the, the the scale right off the tip and voila there you have it so we're going to throw these bad boys out and i'm thinking we about to like do some good around this joint so i think y'all should like stay tuned and hope we have it all right let's get a good cast on this Team Catfish, Thundercat. I'm trying to figure out if I want to throw one short and then throw one. Probably throw one long and short. That's how I'm gonna do it. So here we go. First, first cast with flathead of 2018. So yep, there we go. Let that current take it. Yep. So that's set up and ready to go. Voila, voila, voila. I want to just move this out a little bit this way. There we go. And then we're going to throw the second rod out. But I'm going to throw this a little bit farther. And by the way, I never even got a chance to use this thing. So this is the very first time I use this. All right, y'all. I want to show you all the mistake I made before I had to turn the thing off. Right up in here, I didn't have the hole right there at the level line. I didn't have it inside of there. And that's what messed me up. I was trying to figure out what was going on with my stuff. And I'm sitting up there trying to make sure everything is set up right. Yep, that's a little too fast. I got to make sure I got this tension correct so when, I'm, uh, when I release it, I don't want no backlashing when it drops. So I really want to tighten this up. Too much too much uh oh we almost there there we go 
All right, now I can cast this for the first time. Here we go. Ready, set, and. <laughs> time to go up. Uh oh. Something biting on my line out there. Can somebody please explain to me what that could possibly be? All right, here we go. I got a nice, decent fish on. It's real heavy. I'm believing. Uh oh. Got to get out this fire. Here we go. I think I got a decent fish on. It feels, it possibly could be a flathead. It's just sheer weight at the bottom. Yeah, if it's sheer weight. Or it could just be a stick. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. There's there's mm -hmm. just pressure marks right up in this part. You can see where the scales are uh ripped off. Yep. Oh well. That was a lost fish. I got snagged up too. He took me right in a snag right when it happened, which was funny. Alright, let's get some more bait on. All right, let's see what John got. Oh, John got a decent channel cat. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Get my fish scripts out the back. Oh, that's a nice hefty one. I got one. What's that off? Oh, he got off? Yeah. Oh, snaps. He got off. Hey, it don't matter. I got him. That's a, that's a catch, though. Hell yeah. That's a catch. There you go. It don't matter. We got something on board. It he was a <laughs> this thing, didn't it? It's a channel cat the tail. All right. I'm feeling something. I don't think I got nothing on to be honest with you. Could be a stick. Yeah, ain't nothing on there. Yep. He on. Yep. He got one. Is it big? I don't know, but it's something. It, yep. There you go. Whatever it is, now I'm feeling it. I'm feeling all sheer weight now. A big one too. Big channel. Big old channel cat. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna put you down. He ain't gonna open up his mouth. That's a big old channel cat. I got him. Let me Hold grab on. this. Hold on. Okay. Let me get this situated. Okay. All right, y'all. Look at this mammoth channel cat. Look at that. Golly, that is a mammoth channel. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. This channel cat got to be pushing. It's got to be pushing that 14, 15 unit. Change the unit to pounds. All right, let it go. Yep, it's calling now 1183. So yeah, basically so 12 pounds. Around 12 pounds. I, you want to keep these in there so you can yep. release them? There you go. Well, let's let them see this big old mammoth. Yeah, it feels like it. There we go. Like a, it's a beautiful channel cat. Guys, we're going to come right back. Hold on. All right, we're about to get a nice release on this 12 pound channel cat right here. He was Usually we don't take that long, but he had the line all tangled up and. There we go. Everything else. Let's get him in there. Get him, revive him. He might be ready to go out of, off the rip. Yep, there you go. There you go. All right. Hey, looking for more content? Well, please subscribe. Also, like us on Facebook. And always remember, there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. Thank you for watching.